This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Good morning to you. I'm Yeti Gibson. Here are the latest stories that we're following from the Arizona's Family Newsroom. We are just getting our look at the very latest numbers on the COVID-19 cases here in our state. And across Arizona, we now have 5,769 people with the virus. That is up by 310 people in the past 24 hours. We now have 249 people who have died in our state. And although we've learned some of those 20 new deaths reported may not not have been in the last 24 hours. Maricopa County with more than half of the confirmed cases here in Arizona. Arizona State Senator Lupe Contreras tests positive for COVID-19. The senator who represents part of the Southwest Valley is the first state lawmaker to publicly acknowledge contracting the virus. Senator Contreras says himself, along with five other family members, have also contracted the virus. Contreras says he developed a cough and a fever after taking his mother to the hospital with COVID-19 symptoms. Contreras was tested positive Monday. That is the same day, by the way, protesters stormed the Capitol demanding Governor Ducey to reopen the economy. So in an exclusive interview with our Dennis Welch last night, Senator Contreras had this message for those protesters. I just want everyone out there um, that, that's rallying and, and thinking that this is fake. My cough is not fake. My fever's not fake. My headaches aren't fake. The reality that's happening in my family is not fake. It's real. So we asked Senator Contreras about plans for state legislators to potentially return to the Capitol on May 1st, and he says he is fine with that as long as they work on COVID-related legislation. Also, a heads up for anybody headed up north, the U.S. Forest Service is putting a campfire ban on all Forest Service managed lands in Arizona. Now, this is in response to, of course, the COVID-19 pandemic. The goal here is to keep first responders off the fire lines and keep them in our communities. This ban runs through the end of June. I'm meteorologist April Warnicky. We've got a hot couple of days ahead of us and now 92 degrees for t or 97 degrees for today, and then triple digits coming our way the next couple of days over the weekend and especially into next week when we're going to see a high of 105 degrees. April, thank you for updates on more stories that we're following for you. You can download our app. You can subscribe to our YouTube and our Roku channels. I'm Yetta Gibson. Have a great day, everybody.